Hey guys, good afternoon. How are you doing? Pop with snow in the house right now. Today we are going to be giving you a little bit of a treat. Uh, as those of you know, we are working on our cookbook for the One Guyana Food Festival. We're actually working on our first and second edition. First edition is hopefully going to be out by this holiday season, right? And today I'm actually here to do one of the recipes from our cookbook, okay? Now, this is a recipe that has been provided by Mona Sharma, who is one of our chefs, who you will find her recipes listed inside of our cookbook. So I figured today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make some of these dishes. Uh, I know a lot of people, chicken curry is a staple food, right? And I've been wanting to make a chicken curry dish back here for a little while, haven't been having enough time. But today, in the building with me, I have a special guest, right it's my little network brother Bailey right uh, well, he's not too little he's kind of big guy right but you know uh, and he's here he's the fitness guy in our network he also has a new book out correct yeah right so he also has a new book out but let me bring him on camera real fast because I'm gonna be teaching him how to do the chicken curry and I'm gonna be working with him with some cooking lessons and he's also gonna be supplementing as my personal trainer over the holiday season so that I could bulk back up right Bailey come on camera bro Right. Hey guys, what's up? Right. I'm Casey Bailey here. I'm a fitness and nutrition coach, and today I launched my website, Build with Bailey. And I'm here with my guy to learn a lot about cooking. Even though I'm in oh god, say brother, say brother. Don't say my guy because people might get it wrong, especially since they know I say what's going to. Oh god. I'm here with my brother here, and even though I'm a nutrition coach, I don't know much about cooking. I get, I don't get into the food. The preparation of food much, but I know about the content of the food, so he's going to teach me some stuff today. Yeah, so, you know, for if you live in Guyana and you don't know how to cook chicken curry, you need to get out of Guyana because something is wrong. Well, then I need to get out of Guyana. You need, don't worry, you're not going to have to leave Guyana. I think we want to keep this one in Guyana, right? Uh, my brother, very healthy, good looking young man. You're single too, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. And he is single, right? So, uh, I, I want to make sure, I know we got a lot of women viewers, right? And I want to make sure that if anybody come and teeth out my little brother, right, that he go to a good home, right, and get good mind in. But don't worry, he coming with skills because he could cook after I done I with the chicken curry as well. Yeah, chicken curry, right? And now today I'm gonna teach you how to do the roti, right? All right. Because you know we got we gotta have this thing here, right? So remember today we are gonna be focusing on Mona's chicken curry recipe. Okay, and we also are going to be talking about another product that we're going to be bringing out into the market right now. This is the product. Of course, it's not in its packaging because it is currently in a test phase, right? So Mona, my sister who runs the One Guyana Food Festival uh, food page, she would have made this special mix. And in fact, I think it's a wet mix. Ah, this is actually the wet mix. Yeah. right so this has every single thing you need in it right and this is something that you will be able to buy of course we'll put it in a nice jar and stuff and you'll be able to buy it not just here in Guyana but also in the US and in Canada and the UK when it is launched okay you'll be able to buy these products from amazon.com to start also if you're a distributor out there and you wanted to get in contact with us you wanted to buy a couple thousand units for wholesale you know you can give us a call and we will start to mass produce this here for you. But before we unleash it into the market, please. Gotta test it out. We gotta test it out. Not even test it out, I know it tastes good, right? Because Mona's cooking his boss, right? All right? But but she made this special mix to make sure that we did it the right way. And since I know we don't just got KC in here too, right? We also got my, my little brother Jafan in here. Oh snap! All the guys coming in here right now, right? Everyone came for yeah, yeah, curry. everybody coming for the chicken curry. You know we cooking plenty right now, right? Because we cooking a whole pot. Because this much here is actually gonna cover for a whole chicken. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. It smells. Out. It smells. It smells really good. It smells very, very, very potent. Very authentic. You know. And this is gonna be from the brand Mona's Taste of Home brand. Okay. So this is her Taste of Home chicken curry mix this isn't a dry mix this is actually a wet mix but you'll have the opportunity to pick up both right yeah community you want to spin by you can spin by not a problem okay uh we've got a lot of guys in the house but we do have the lady of the house here we have lily lily is like mandatory the lady of the house right 
because she's the only woman inside this building right now. And, uh, you know, she holds it down. She's pretty tough, though. She's tough like nails, right? Got, got to be. Oh, wait, Shy Boss is Shy. Right? So, yeah, definitely. Uh, my little brother, Jafan, is in the house, too. Jafan, you didn't cook curry before? Yeah. Well, we're making Mona's curry. You remember Mona? Yeah. Right? So, Mona sent us a special curry mix. And we're about to go ahead and we're going to set it up. Now, for this recipe, we're using about a four-pound chicken. We chopped it up. I like my chicken cut up pretty small. I don't want it too, you know, when it's too big, then the flavors don't get to seep in. And since we're gonna bunge out the chicken a little bit before we go ahead, and yeah, we wanna get that flavor in there, right? So the bunge in though is only just a part of the process because I'm not gonna leave it dry, right? I'm just bunge in it to really get those flavors in. And we're gonna show you how this works out. And then, yeah, then we'll simmer it down. We've already made our rice. Now, let me tell you guys something about the rice, right? Uh, I'm a funny person when it comes to my rice. Uh, I like different textures of rice for different things. Okay. For instance, if I'm doing fried rice, my rice needs to be very grainy, loosey, yeah. you know, not sticky. Yeah, I don't want it clammy, right? However, when you're doing curry, you want it to have a slight bit of clamminess to it. Yeah. This way now, it can hold that curry so, sauce and that gravy yeah. together perfectly, right? If not, your, your gravy you just gone yeah, to, the bottom. to the bottom. Your rice turned into strain you know, on. You know, it, it's just not a nice thing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to have some fun. And we're going to start this whole thing off. Let me show you guys what's going on. Good. Yeah, yeah, why not? All right, so right now, real simple. Look, guys, it's Jane. Jane is in the house. All right, so we've already prepped everything here. Prep. We've, we've got, yeah, we, I've already prepped it. This is Danny, by the way. Right, so Danny is my big cousin right here. So he's in the building. All right, so we've already washed, cleaned out chicken. We washed it with lime, salt, things like that. Cut off all the little rank, everything. And we've also drip dried out our chicken because I don't want my chicken very moist when we're gonna fry it down because it's gonna cause unnecessary headache with the oil. Simple, simple ingredients. I chopped up uh, one whole onion. I've got a little bit of fresh garlic, we've got some worried pepper, we've got some tomatoes, and we've de-seeded the tomatoes and sliced them. And we've got about three small, uh, medium-sized potatoes, right? We've got a little bit of fresh seasoning here too. Yeah, well, well, it's, I, I just got it in a jar, so it, it's in an old uh, spaghetti jar. But I've reused these jars, they're so cool, right? And of course, we do have Mona's special chicken curry mix right here. So we're gonna set it up really fast. Um, yeah, Parmenon, you guys, you guys are well, welcome to come over. So, uh, Bailey, oh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, one, one. We're gonna use this back burner right now. All right. Now I would have put some oil here. So you're gonna do a lot of this. Okay. You're gonna do a lot of this, right? Because simple fact that you gotta learn it too, right? Yeah. Good. So this here. This is about, maybe about two ounces of uh, cooking oil, vegetable oil, right? I don't want too much, but we have a lot of chicken, chicken there. Yeah. And if it's too dry, then we're gonna have a problem, right? Uh, exactly, it's gonna stick, right? Good to go. I will go ahead and I'll just coat this pan first and let this oil start to heat up because we're gonna need it now to fry down our seasoning mix, right? So this isn't gonna take very long to, to heat up, right? Well, here's the, here's the beauty. Because it's a wet mix, I figured she's already put the balance in there. So she's already balanced that. So I'm not even gonna add any of the green seasoning mix or anything because I thought it was gonna be a dry mix, but then when I opened it, I realized it was already a wet mix, which just made it that much better, okay? Nothing to drink? Yes, we have things to drink. Uh, we have fresh juice, we have coconut water, and of course we have regular water, which is technically the best thing to drink realistically speaking, except like, I've got a sweet tooth, right? Wait, hold on. You got, what's this? Water, regular water. Yeah, water. He's with me everywhere I go, guys. Everywhere he goes, he's always drinking water, right? So he is the official fireman, no, waterman, <laughs> right? Gonna hold it down. All right, so why is that oil is heating up, Bailey? I'm gonna wanna just put a little salt on this chicken I'm not gonna add no black pepper or anything. So let me get a little spoon here for you. And whenever you're looking at the spoon like this, a teaspoon is only about this much, right? Okay. 
So this will technically hold a tablespoon, which is like three teaspoons. So you're gonna put about two teaspoons. Yeah, about two teaspoons of salt on this. All right, and just sprinkle it around. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. He's gotta get his hands dirty, right? So, yep, just a little bit more, a little less, good to go. Sprinkle it around and just mix it in. That's all you gotta do. When you're using Mona's uh, curry mix, right, it's real simple. You only gotta add a little salt to your chicken. Everything else is already here, right? Uh, no, I don't really drink liquor and he doesn't really drink, so, right? Uh, we're some of the few guys in Guyana that aren't really fixated on drinking. So, which is a good thing. All right, so our oil is heating up right now, Bailey. Right, so I'm just gonna spread the oil a little bit around. Let leave the chicken. The first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in Mona's special mix. And we're gonna start to fry it up. Here, use this same little spoon so you can take out everything that's in there. Oh, let, let's, get, let's get this boy here on camera. Yeah, don't be scared, don't be scared, throw it in. All of it, all of it. Everything here was set for one particular whole chicken, yeah. It, this whole thing was set and prepared, was made for one little chicken, here you go. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the sexy chef in the kitchen right now. Right, now we're just gonna fry this down for just a couple moments. Not too long, we wanna to start to release the aroma from the seasonings, right? And as it heats up, you're gonna notice that the smell is gonna intensify. Yeah. Right, up, oh. uh, there you go. So you can hold one end, yeah, you gotta do it like a pro. But don't do what some people do. Some people make it get caught on fire from the yeah. bottom there. It, it's funny, right? But it's not gonna be too funny happening in my kitchen. <laughs> How are we looking here? Looking all right, looking all right. You're like Chef Boy RD. Yeah, well, it's a chef it is. We gotta eat, right? Oh. All right, so just frying this down a little bit. You can just let it set for a little two seconds. We wanna get that aroma. We wanna really, you can put it right here inside the same bowl. Yeah, we really wanna release the aroma, right? Too bad you guys can, can just see certain things, right? I'm going to just start fry it up a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and throw in our chicken. So, anyway, it's your turn. Want me to throw it all in? Yeah, throw it all in. Throw it all in. Throw it all in. And now we got to make sure that it mixes up, right? Because you don't want to burn the seasoning, so we're not going to wait too long. Well, you see, remember, guys, right? This here is a mix. This mix has onion, it has garlic, it has everything in it, right? Yeah, I do need to lower this heat yeah. slightly. You can just have it up at a certain temp just to hot up the pan. But remember too, right? Uh, that is a strong guy, that's a solid spoon. That's a solid spoon, huh? <laughs> it is. In fact, I have to turn back up the heat because the chicken would have dropped the temperature of the pan. Right. So there's a lot of chicken here, man. It's a whole chicken. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, so we gotta let that fry down a little bit. No, we actually have salt on the chicken and there is actually some degree of salt in the uh, in in the uh, seasoning mix. So I don't wanna add too much until I know that it's right where I need it to be, right? So I'll be able to add a little bit more salt later, but we do have salt on uh, on the chicken already, right? Salt is the only thing that we actually have to add, right, for the chicken because the seasoning that the seasoning mix that we put in had like everything else. Like I said, this here is gonna make cooking curry, at least chicken curry, a great tasting chicken curry, very very easy for anyone. All you need to do when you get the jar of Mona's Taste of Home Chicken Curry Seasoning Mix, you just follow the label, man. Follow the label. Shoba, the mix actually has, uh, it has garlic, it has onion, it's got its green seasoning. It's, it's completely blended, right? Completely blended. 
Remember too, right? You can always add more salt. You can't take it away. So I really do want to make sure that I get the full flavor of Mona's mix because we are testing Mona's mix here today. All right, don't burn up the chicken. Turn it up, turn it up. Hey, you guys got to come in and borrow Bailey for the day. Let Bailey come. Let Bailey come in there and cook for y'all. Right? You can tell he's not used to doing this. But he's getting there. He's getting there. Yeah, I'm not going to simmer it yet, right? I do want it, I do want it to cook. Uh, I'm also going to help to... Uh, fry out any of the rankness that might still be inside the chicken right so I do want that steam to come off when it's time to simmer I just normally let the outside cook for a certain amount of time before I go ahead and cover it down uh, to simmer right remember everyone there's gonna be many ways to do chicken curry right we're just doing the chicken curry today with one of the seasoning mixes coming out of our network okay now, while that is simmering, because this is going to be a two-man job, right? I also want to let my little brother here tell you guys he has a new fitness book out, right? He is a fitness guru, right? And he is growing right now. He, he knows a lot about health, nutrition, these things. That's why he's also uh, working with me as my personal trainer throughout the holiday season because I do have to bulk back up, right? I've been spending so much time working. Not enough time keeping myself fit, right? So this is the guy that has to come and help get me back to where I'm supposed to be, right? Yeah, definitely, right? And he's also one of the models in our network, not to mention he's one of our youth ambassadors, right? So this, this is a big thing, right? He's going to be one of our youth members who are going to be going out uh, throughout this season from November 28th throughout Christmas with us when we're going to do our uh, our charity, our donation drives, right? So he's gonna be tackling some areas of the country. I'm gonna be tackling other areas as well as other members because there's a lot of people that we wanna get things out to and we are also uh, working on a timeline. No, he's not married, right? He is not married, right? He's making my own chicken curry. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's making his own chicken curry, right? Because he's not married, he's gotta do shit himself. That's kind of the way it's got to happen with us guys here, right? So we got we to gotta know what to do. Yeah, he is healthy. He is, bye, you got to show them you healthy, man. Yeah, right? Oh, gosh. Right? And he full, he, he, he loves kicks and giggles, right? So it's going to be a real good time, right? So now let me just take a quick peek at this really fast. Yeah. All right, so you see what's happening on the air, Casey? Oh, let me bring it over. Yeah, yeah bring, it, bring it over real fast. Uh, so now I'm basically just frying it down. I'm letting any of that excess water come out so that there's no rank water left in it when I do put it down to steam. And you see how the seasoning now is starting, the seasoning is starting to blend with the chicken. Right, it's starting to look more like a curry and not just chicken waiting to be seasoned, right? Yeah. And because it is a pre-bottled mix, we want to mix it good. Because remember, it, the chicken didn't have no time to really marinate, to let flavors go in, which means that this seasoning has to be really, really strong to get those flavors in as fast as possible. You could do this in a wok as well, uh, but my woks are not so big to hold this much chicken. So I, I pulled out the ukahari and said, let me go ahead now. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just spreading it out real even, right Bailey? Uh -huh. This way I get some equal heat, heat distribution uh -huh. and all of my chicken is going to kind of cook evenly for the most part. Yeah. Right? In just a couple of minutes, when the chicken is almost done cooking or then, frying out, gonna then, then I'm going to add in the potatoes, then I'm going to cook down the potatoes and then throw in some fresh seasoning just for looks and you know aesthetics. Yeah. And some color. I like one, two little boiled pepper inside my curry. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to want to put that in there. And then I'll simmer it down. It'll boil out for maybe, simmer down for maybe about 20 minutes, if that. And it should be ready. And yeah. our rice is set and ready, so it looks like we're eating good. So I hope you brought your appetite too, right? Let's go. All right. 
I knocked out some squats yesterday. I felt like a dead man this morning. <laughs> but I, I, I get real hungry today. I, I ain't gonna lie. What are you gonna get in your protein? Yeah, so. Yeah. But I'm not doing no heavy training until my protein shakes and stuff get here. Because yeah. for me. You're gonna need the calories. I, I need the calories. If not, I'm gonna work myself down to the ground. Because exercise plus my work schedule, that would destroy me if I don't have a balance. Correct. Now, people, if you ever invite me for chicken curry, and you're gonna cook chicken curry, right? Um, and and you're gonna do something nice for me if I'm coming by. Don't chop the chicken bigger than this. Keep it nice, you know, maybe about two inch diameter square, three inch most. Don't give me a whole chicken leg in a curry, right? <laughs> or a big whole chicken wing or something in a curry. Or a big gigantic piece of chicken breast with curry sauce on it and tell me it's curry, right? I will tell you from my first time cooking uh, using Mona's Taste of Home uh, chicken curry mix, right? The body of the mix, it, it's really thick, so you, you can tell it's just really, really packed with the seasonings. It's nothing watered down, anything. Yeah, Danny, it does smell good. I almost got nervous, but then I remembered you're in the building with us, Danny. So I'm like, okay, good, right? <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, this man making himself a club. Now I'm like, hold on, he's in the building with us. Yeah, so it does smell good, right? Um, remember, so for anyone who is cooking curry, this is like your first stage, you know? Actually, your first stage is throwing in, frying up your seasonings, your spices. After that, you start to cook down your meat because your meat will take the longest to cook. And chicken is something you don't play games with. You wanna make sure he is properly and thoroughly cooked, okay? You can take a chance with beef by eating beef raw and all, but you can't do that with chicken. You can eat raw fish, don't eat raw chicken. Nothing poultry-wise, don't ever try to eat raw. You'll end up getting really, really sick. Now, if anyone can look, you would notice we did not put water in this. This has no water. We have not added water to this yet, right? So you would be able to tell that all of the actual moisture from the chicken is coming out, which is very, very good. And then any rank or anything will be basically cooked off and your chicken will be ready for uh, the boil down after all of this. And this looks like you don't even need to add water. This looks like it's ready to go. It's already juicy. This is ready to go. However, this will still be a little too seasony for me. I'm gonna do this thing that my grandmother always used to do. I don't know how she used to do it. She used to push her hand like this. She used to take the thing, she used to go like this. Oh, oh, ow, ow. I don't know how granny used to do that. That is very hot. Grandma, you tricked me. I'm gonna tell God. Oh, good. This thing tastes good. Yeah. Right? This thing tastes really, really good. It's getting juicy. Yeah, it's just getting... The more we cook down this seasoning mix, the more this chicken gets juicy. If you look at it real carefully, you would see how we. it was just the perfect amount. The perfect amount of seasoning mix. Right? Uh, for this amount of chicken. So our color, the coloring of the curry looks really good, right? Uh, some people, when they make curries, some, some curries come out really, really dark. Some curries come out really, really light, right? Um, however, uh, I, like, I like a curry with a good body. What I mean by good body, I'm talking about texture, the gravy, the texture. It can't, you know, it can't be watery and it can't be too dry. Right, curry is curry, bunjal is bunjal, so know the difference, people. Right, big, big difference, right? Um, and you can't have a dry curry and you can't have a long water curry, right? Long water curry is, yeah, there's, there's, there's like jail time skates, right? <laughs> we want to see long water curry, right? But big up to everybody to stretch the curry and make it walk by. I, I tell you, I have, to, I have to stretch curry before, right? Right? So we're just letting it cook down. I'm stirring it at intervals just to make sure that any chicken that was at the top gets to the, bottom. Get, gets to the bottom and gets to soak and marinate inside of the gravy. Now look, this spoon has a hole at the bottom and you see how long it's taking that gravy to go through, right? We're just looking for a little bit thinner than that and it's perfect, right? So that whatever it touches, it should coat it. Yeah. Right? So the juices are gonna come out of the chicken. Yeah, the juices are coming out of the chicken. And at the same time, 
the chicken, as the chicken heats up, it's gonna start to try to get back some moisture that it's losing, yeah. right? So it's in place, it's gonna start to suck up all of this curry seasoning, right? And that's how we're gonna basically quickly marinate and fry down this chicken here with the curry so that that flavor goes all the way through. I, I hate food that when you bite into something, the outside tastes good, but, but the inside, inside is very bland. Yeah. Right? That's because they don't allow time, right, uh, for things to get in. Um, Rene Boudram, I did not use any fresh green seasoning because this was actually, it's not the dry mix, this is the wet mix, right? Uh, for Mona's Taste the Home chicken curry uh, seasoning, right? This is the wet mix, and this wet mix comes with everything already set in it. Which basically means you could just take a spoon, get your chicken, you, got, you don't even gotta season your chicken. Make sure your chicken wash and clean, throw in some aisle, throw in the seasoning mix, fry it up a little bit, throw in your chicken, fry your chicken down with it, and that's the point where we're at right now, right? And then afterwards, when you know your chicken is almost fully, fully cooked, not overcooked, but almost fully cooked, right? Uh, yes, this will be one of the seasoning mixes that we will be selling internationally, uh, Natasha, right? So this is one of the products that's going to be coming out of the One Guyana Food Festival, right? Now, why is I'm frying this now? I want my little brother Bailey to tell you guys about another product that is actually on the market right now from our network and it deals with health, fitness, and exercise, right? So Bailey, while I'm doing this here, go ahead, right? By the way, I don't tell you, use eye candy, right? Good. So you gotta look strong, look cute, and you gotta talk to them people out there, you gotta make sure all my viewers happy. All right, so I already told you guys. Y'all gotta let me know if you're doing good, right? Good. So I already told you guys that I launched my website today, Build with Bailey, I'll come, you can check it out. Now I'm featuring two products on it, two ebooks. One is called Fitness Made Simple, is where I summarize all the necessary topics in fitness. Now I'm a certified fitness and nutrition coach. So I, cert I concise all of these topics and put them into an ebook for you guys. And I also have another one that's called Eco Eats. Now we're doing a cooking show here. This one is all about nutrition. So you guys can check it out check out the website and this book is specific to dietary guidelines it talks about food, food intolerances and allergies it talks about nutrients getting your vitamins and your minerals in it also talks about um special conditions whether you're on a vegan diet or if you're pregnant because pregnant what about vegan, diabetes diabetes in there um that's one of the health issues that i address as well okay. so you guys can definitely check that out now i know women are really interested in knowing how to lose weight and now I'm going to tell you a secret. You guys can lose weight without even going to the gym or even exercising. Just by nutrition. Now, I had one of my recent clients who had a massive breakthrough. He hasn't been to the gym. We started working during COVID. And from, it was about, let's say, March to now, he lost about 56 pounds without exercising or going to the gym. It's just nutrition at all. He's been following one of my custom meal plans. Now I'm just gonna give you guys some tips on how you can lose weight, lose that excess body fat and slim down for the Christmas that's coming up. So it all starts off with what you're eating, what you're putting into your body. If you put in a lot, your physical appearance is gonna look like a lot more than it should be. So it's a simple principle. All you have to do is cut down the amount that you're eating. It's as simple as that. Everything that you're eating, cut it in half. It's going to cut down the amount of calories your body is consuming. Your energy output is going to go up. And then you're going to see your body weight moving down. It's going to be mostly fat that's reducing. Now, I'm going to get into some specific details. Like the types of food you should be cutting down on. And some food you should also be increasing on. So, now I know a lot of people growing up didn't like fruits and vegetables. But they are the main thing. They are what actually helps us to manage our weight whether you want to lose body fat or to build muscle mass fruits and vegetables are very important now the reason why is fruits and vegetables they don't carry a lot of calories so let's say you eat this much fruits and vegetables and you get about 100 calories and you eat some food that's oily that has about this much oil this might have 100 calories and this one might have 500 calories now the fruits and vegetables, they fill up your stomach because it's a lot, but it is not very calorie dense. It's nutrient dense. Now the oily foods, they do a lot of damage with their calorie dense, but not very nutrient dense. Now what do these foods include? Processed foods, such as fried chicken, barbecue, 
Uh, we also have canned and processed foods that you. I love barbecue. Well, barbecue. you can eat it, but not too much of it. Now, too much of anything is bad. Even too much of a good thing is bad. So, some, so I'm gonna give you some of the foods you definitely want to reduce, and then after I'm gonna tell you about some of the foods you want to increase. So you guys might probably wanna write this down, or you can ask questions. So, one of the foods you want to reduce is sugary products. Dairy products, sugary products, now they usually combine into things like ice cream or chocolate or cookies. They're also snacks. Snacks don't have any nutrients inside of them really, it's just calories. Now, the next time you go to eat the Cheetos or Doritos or something, hit, look at the back of it, the little table there that has nutrients inside of it, and you would see that it has about anywhere between 140 to 220 calories, but it doesn't have any sort of nutrients inside of it. All it would give you is sugar and probably some amount of sodium. So that's just sugar and salt. Now, those make up for an, a large amount of weight gain because as you eat a lot of sugars, the sugar is inside of your bloodstream. Now, if you're not active and you're not using up that sugar, your body takes it and stores it as fat. And if you're doing that every single day, every day you're adding up calories and at the end of a week you might put on a pound. Now, that's about 52 pounds a year if you're storing up one pound of fat every single day. So that's one of the things you guys want to cut out. Processed foods and sugary foods. One of the things you want to increase is your protein intake. We want lean protein foods. We're using chicken here today for the chicken for the curry. You want to use um chicken, fish, lean beef. You want to take off as much of the fat off of it as possible. Try to avoid pork. You no, know, my guy's gonna come here. Yeah, and speak I, I want to just tell you something, right? When making this chicken curry that I'm making here, right? I need you to know that I actually took off the skin. The only parts of the chicken that I actually left skin on was uh the legs the drumlets the drumsticks, yeah, drumsticks. which we chopped up yeah. right and also the wings because it's harder to yeah, take off the skin it. off of the wings but in terms of the complete everything else on the chicken we have taken off all of the chicken skin uh i actually use the chicken skin for something else because i have dogs okay. so when i'm making their dog food you know they i throw the chicken in yeah man they love yeah. that they love that stuff right plus you know i i just mix in a lot of stuff in my dog food to keep my dog right going the way it is rice too yes rice is a no-no but rice is also important as well right so you know there's a balance in the starches and the carbs that you need to know for me for instance i need to eat a lot of carbs, lot of carbs. I, I need tons bulk and tons up. of carbs right not just to bulk up but just for energy purposes, for energy purposes right yeah. uh, i'm on the go all the time something that a lot of people don't know is that if you're a thinker you burn more calories yeah, because sugar is what fuels your brain. So if you're thinking 24-7, you have to eat enough carbs right. to get you going. Okay. All right. Cameraman. Let's go. It is now time for us Let's to go ahead out. and we're going to be adding in the potatoes. Right? So if you could look at the curry, they can see it from there, right? Yeah, good. Yeah. So my curry's, my chicken's pretty much fried down. I'm not going to let it dry out, right? Because I'm not bunjal in it, right? And it does look good. What I'm looking for here, uh, Bailey, uh -huh. is when I look at this meat, I want to see that every part of this meat looks saturated. And I don't want it to start getting dry. If it's getting dry and burnt, then that means I'm, a, I'm already doing something wrong. Uh -huh. And I would need to add a little liquid just to cool it down. You understand? So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our potatoes and let our potatoes fry down for a couple of minutes until they're almost tender. And then we'll simmer them out. Now three small potatoes is all I'm using here. Chop them up. And just mix this in. What I'm gonna do is try to just evenly mix it in. Not anything, get my potatoes down to the bottom as much as I could. Where all of that sauce and gravy, everything is. So just kind of bury the potatoes under the chicken. And get it down as low as I could. And then just let it fry up for a second cook down and even it out and just leave those potatoes let them simmer in here for a few moments all right all right so we added in the potatoes all right so now of course remember I only added salt to the chicken the seasoning mix now had almost everything else Okay, in it. It had everything in it, right? 
Now the fact that I added some potatoes there, when it's time to simmer it down, okay, and I add my water after I add in some water for simmering, uh, I wait till it starts to bubble, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a taste test to see if it has the right amount of salt in it. Because the potato will cut the salt, yeah. right? Uh, just, just being a very starchy food, the potato will cut the salt. So we wanna make sure that when the potatoes start to fry down, cook down, and we add in our water, that's when we could get a balanced taste. If we tasted it now, remember, the seasoning is still very thick, so you wouldn't get the right flavor, right? So we're gonna wait till we add in the water to simmer it. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take another taste test of it and bun my hand a little bit like Granny used to do, right? And uh, see how well it's working out. So far, uh, I've cooked a lot of curry dishes before, and I can tell you, I am very, very pleased with the texture and the look of this curry mix. I'm very happy with what it's giving me, right? And you're gonna see the finished product shortly, uh, maybe just another 15 minutes or so, and dinner is ready, okay? Uh, mind I say, I am cooking a bigger portion because we have all the guys in here, and we have our network sister, Lily, in the building as well. Right, so uh, for the last couple weeks, Lily has been doing a lot of the cooking because all us guys, we've been pretty much doing all of the other work. Right, so tonight Lily gets a break and we get to do the cooking and she's kind of like running the show and bossing us around a little bit tonight. Right, so uh, that will that will definitely help. Right, well Bailey, uh, I got my other network partner here, Vinny. We got Vinny on the line and Vinny's also into fitness, right? So I think it's something that Vinny could check out as well. And you guys could share some pointers. Well, remember, tell them what page you're on too, right? Let them know. Let yeah, them know. Vinny. Are you on YouTube yet? Yeah, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram as well. So you're making some very important points. Now on the website, I have a discussion forum. So you guys can head over there, buildwithbailey.com. That's B-A-Y-L-E-Y.com. You head over there and you click on the forum tab and you can leave whatever questions you have and I'm going to answer the questions and we can have a big discussion so persons can learn, persons can share information that they have also for the benefit of everyone. You know, like you said, carbs do a lot of damage as well. So we always advise people to choose whole wheat products or whole grain products over the white or refined carbs. For the simple fact that the whole wheat products would have more fiber inside them and the refined products, they don't really have any sort of nutrients, it's just a lot of calories inside it's just created to taste good and for the product just to look good. So you want to use a lot more whole wheat products. Like brown rice? Yeah. Brown rice. I'm um, using brown rice tonight. Yeah. Brown rice, whole wheat flour, and the fiber. What the fiber does, it makes you feel fuller for longer. You can also eat oatmeal as well. That's a very good breakfast option. So the fiber makes you feel fuller for longer and it also takes out fat out of your system as it leaves because your body doesn't digest the fiber. It's just there and then it takes the fat out of the Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, so keep have, them in the day. Yeah, so it takes a lot of fat out with it. So sometimes you might eat um, a meal that consists of a certain amount of fat, but if it has fiber inside of it, then the fiber would take out some of the fat from it. So your body wouldn't consume or digest the fat that's inside. Correct. Vinny has a lot of information. So Nas was my yeah, connection. Yeah, Vinny knows himself, you know. Vinny, my boy, you know. Yeah. So you guys can check me out on any social media platform. My name is Bailey, B-A-Y-L-E-Y. Or you can just type in Build with Bailey on Google and I'm going to pop up the website. I have a lot of products and services available on the website. So some amazing stuff you guys can check out. Well, you can also, you, you'll also be able to find any of our network products on the website as well right right any cooking products health products books cookbooks stuff blogs like that as well they're all up on the website so the website has free blogs so if you're not interested in getting the book is yet but you want a taste of what the book has inside of it you can visit the website and check out the blog the blog has about bite-sized information things about um things like food intolerances alcohol that's a very big thing that a lot of persons need to understand as well alcohol um it also it also advises you on how to plan out your workout so you want to reduce right. okay, i, I, I go, go, i'm gonna line you back over here right, let's go. Go.
All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding in some fresh seasonings, not because we need to add it, but more because of my personal preference, right? Uh, I just like seeing the fresh seasonings in there. And even though garlic is blended and already in the mix, I just like adding a little bit of garlic chips, right? It's good for gas, good for wind, stuff like that, right? And of course, as you can see, our peppers and some onions, right? So I'm gonna throw this in one time. Uh, this, is, this is more like for looks and just that slight little kick, that slight little extra kick, nothing major. Uh, and this is added in because we're about to start adding in our water in just a minute and we're gonna start boiling this down, right? But I did want these fresh seasoning flavors as well, just to be there. Uh, I like to see fresh seasonings, like direct fresh. Not blended fresh, but direct fresh, right? Uh, for the looks, just mix that in and then I'm gonna add a little water, so you just focus here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna bring some water to add it into the curry to get some more juices. We're cooking chicken curry seema. Yeah, so I'm just gonna add in about a three quarter cup of water here. Nothing too much. I'm gonna add in too much. Just enough. I don't want it too wet yet. Just enough so that I can make sure that I, all of this seasoning that started to char a little bit on the bottom. Not really char, but cook in. I want it. I want it. That seasoning there. All of this little seasoning here, man. This is what got that kick to it, right? Now, if you look, the curry's starting to come together really, really well here. And because the potatoes are also the last thing that, one of the last things that I added, I still want my potatoes to boil a little, little, little bit more. Yeah, because the potato comes with some amount of water. Yep. In it as well. Well, not really. The potatoes start to suck the water. Okay. Start to dry it up because of the starch. Yeah. So I do want to make sure. I'm going to have to add more water here. So I'm going to add in, because of the size of the pot, in total, it's going to be about a cup and a half of water. I've added three quarters cup already. I'm going to add another three quarter cup of water. So a total of about a cup and a half of water for a whole chicken, right? And now it's starting to bubble, which means it's looking good. By the way, I, I took a shortcut because I cheat a little bit. What I mean by that is I've already had hot water waiting, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> Because I always keep hot water close by, especially during COVID time. I don't play with my hot drinks. And so, so you see how sh watery this is right now? So this is gonna cook down a little bit. Remember that consistency that we were looking for, right? So this is, this here is long water-ish right now. But as this cook down and simmers down and the starches start to be released from the potatoes, it's gonna give this, the gravy that body that yeah. we're looking for, right? A lot of people don't realize a lot, a lot of the body that they need actually comes from the starch of the potato, right? So the more potatoes that you might add, the less you have to simmer it down to get the body that you're looking for for the sauce, right? Now there's a lot of chicken in here. And yeah, if you look, I chopped up my chicken into small pieces. I like it in small pieces, especially the breast pieces. Because if you don't chop up these breasts good enough, you don't get that flavor all the way in and your food just doesn't taste as nice. Right, and this curry is almost done. Notice I haven't even put a lid on my curry. Some people feel that they need to put a lid. You don't need to put a lid if you're working on temperature control. Lid. You can use a lid if you know that, you know, you might want to speed it up. Also, another reason persons would use the lid is to help capture enough heat. Now, I have a decent stove. My stove is pretty good, right? So, you know, the burners keep the heat at a very constant temperature. So I don't really have to steam it down because I'm not doing steamed chicken. I'm not doing boiled chicken. I'm doing chicken curry, right? So, you know. 
that's important. Now, of course, it's not a curry unless you see some nice pepper. Unfortunately, I was out of tiger teeth and we had to use some marui. But this here is almost ready. Now, if you look how fast the body is changing. It's dripping. See how it's taking longer now to go down? Okay. A next thing that you would notice about this curry, for anyone who is watching, you don't see a puddle of oil in my curry. Okay? You see curry. If you look at this curry carefully, you do not see any oil floating to the top anywhere. And this is very, very important because some people like to bathe their chicken in oil. <laughs> right? If you want fried chicken, make fried chicken. If you want curry chicken, chicken curry make chicken. curry chicken. Don't make an oily, oily based curry chicken or chicken curry. Well, what I know, you pepper open up there. <laughs> but I just love the sound of it bubbling. I, I just love looking at curry when it's bubbling. It, it brings back. A you know, a feeling of being a child, watching my mom and my grandmother cook, and just saying, yo, is it done yet? Can we eat? All right? Okay, so now, I really gotta get used to, I really don't know how my grandmother used to do this, man. Fast. That woman, I think from years of clapping roti, that woman hand <laughs> hard, right? Me? Hey, this tastes really, really good, Mona. Mm-hmm, very balanced, very, very balanced. Very, very balanced. I love that, I love that. Not too spicy, not missing flavor. Oh God, what is that that I'm tasting in the background? something something else I can taste like bay leaves in the background right from from what however they made the curry powder in itself I can taste it. that tastes so good right no we're not having the chicken curry with roti or puri we're having it with we're doing it with some uh, brown rice yeah yeah, I I wasn't making roti tonight, sorry. <laughs> I did working all day today, cleaning up the outlet downstairs, getting the place in Arnold, working with them boys wiping. Uh -uh. By the time I done do all of that, I said nope. I'm not I'm not coming up for clap roti tonight. However, if one of y'all clapping roti right now, one said a couple, I just tasted this curry. This curry will go amazing with a nice fresh clap oil roti. That's like, they got me there. Mari's got gone. I, I, I don't know. But it's, it's really, really good. All right, so in a couple of minutes, we will be ready to eat. In fact, let me start plating off the rice. Add in finishing touches. Some tomatoes. Remember, we did de-seed our tomatoes. Everything mixing up really, really good. In fact, the way I cook this chicken too, right? Some of the chicken is even getting soft enough to fall off of the bone, so I'm not gonna overcook it. You see what we're looking for? That's the texture we're looking for. It's not gonna just drip real freely. Taking some time, see that? That's what we're looking for in our curry in terms of texture of our curry, right? Um, this, honestly, to me, does not need more salt, right? Uh, you could put a little jira if you want it, if you wanted a stronger, like, taste of jira in your food. Some people like that. Uh, not me. I think this is pretty, pretty good as it is right now, right? In fact, this curry, I could turn it off. This curry is done, right? So let me just go ahead and uh, plate it. And, you know, in the meantime... No, Teresa. That tomato is primarily for a little garnishment. Yo, your juice, right? 
right? So I'm gonna start plating up some food. Hey, Danny, yeah. come, come, come. You, you, you're our first uh, test subject. You're our. I know it's smelling good, right? This curry ain't lasting an hour here, right? Just letting you know, we got too much people around. We got too many people around, so, you know. No, uh, I like to add a little tomato toward the end of my curry. It's just something that I do with my chicken curry. My grandmother used to do it, all right? It, it makes me feel better when I add it. I know some people might be a little different. Uh, you could also add tomatoes into your curry at the end if you would have added too much salt. Right? Let's see. Papa Snow, tell the guy there the gravy is not juice. It's sorwa. Chicken curry is perfect. Well, I could not have cooked such a perfect chicken curry tonight without the help of Mona Sharma's Right, taste from home, chicken curry, wet seasoning mix, right? Uh, pretty, pretty good. And you're gonna see a lot of Mona Sharma's, Mona's taste from home products coming out. You're gonna see a lot of that stuff. Uh, like I said, Mona's in charge of our One Guyana Food Festival uh, network page, right? Which is our food page, like our food network for Guyana, right? So, uh, you know, it's gonna be really, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna show them how we did this rice too so that they understand what I mean by rice for the curry, right? Okay, so remember guys, I was telling you about the rice. Now if you look at this rice, it's not too loosey, but it is not too grainy and too dry. It has a certain degree of moisture in it, right? And it's just slightly clammy, but it's still loose in its own right. Right, let me just take out Danny on and we're gonna watch Danny. Danny gonna be my guinea pig tonight. Hey, this is a good place to be a guinea pig though. I don't care what anybody says because we do a lot of different cooking and stuff like that, right? So this is like a beautiful place to uh, be a guinea pig. Danny, you want pepper? No. Right, I want to make it look pretty, right? But this thing coming out. Anyway, I ain't gonna make it this time. Don't worry. Talk your grandma. Well, I'm gonna put that shit up here. You tell me what you think. You've eaten curry in a lot of different places. Boom. Okay. Now, Casey, um, Bailey, let me get out your stuff. Good job. This is the juice. We, we have more juice right here, right? I walk in, you don't start eat. Yeah, but I see your mouth. I see your mouth. Walk in there. take out for Lily right because you know like I said we've got we've got Lily in here and Lily's been doing like all the cooking for all the guys in here for this like last couple weeks right so I gotta make sure like especially serve her right because you know she's been looking out for all of us Take your time. I don't mind. 
You must take your time. Yeah, if they want to take their time, let them take their time. I'm not going to play games. I'm going to eat. Because this curry looks and smells really, really good. And I am definitely interested in testing it all time. Alright guys, so it's not the prettiest looking plate, but I don't know about you right now. I'm really, really hungry. And I'm going to taste it in front of you guys. I want to see, you know, the final taste. And we're going to hear what Bailey has to say. First uh, ever curry. That the first ever curry you helped cook, right? Yeah. But you could do this on your own, you know. Yeah, it's not hard. This isn't hard at all. I made it look very easy, but it realistically is very, very easy. Right? And, um... It's easy to cook curry. Curry's just not really the hardest thing in the world to cook. Most of our parents, mothers, grandmothers, everybody, they've been cooking it like 200 times a year in Guyana. So, seems to be a go-to dish, an easy go-to dish, right? Uh, one second. Okay, like like everybody else is gonna wait for like us to munch off. Okay, but I do like my pepper, right? So I will I will make sure that I pull out some of my special pepper mix. All right. Yes, even though the food is gonna taste brilliant without it, I'm just used to pepper. If you're like me, you like pepper. Or your food is not fully, fully complete without it, right? And for me, curry is a man that must have some degree of pepper with him. Right? So, go ahead. I haven't tasted a curry. I personally cooked for a couple of months. Because I believe me personally, I have not cooked chicken curry for like the last three months personally. Right? So... You know, don't work it out. All right, let's see. He's already eating. How is it? Wonderful. I love the flavor of the curry powder. The mix, right? Yeah. Because it's not just curry powder, you know. It's a special mix. It's, it's got powder. everything yeah. already in it, right? All right, so. Right? You see? You see, this is how you know that the food is really good. We got the Indian man. We got the black man. And we got a mix-up man. And you get in full variety of opinion here, you know. This ain't no, okay, well, maybe only Indian people gonna like it, or maybe black people alone gonna like it, or you know, maybe it's a Portuguese man, curry, no, 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 no. Right? We got all different type of people here, right? Go fast. Okay, now I can eat, right? So let me, let me test it out. Like I said, the consistency... The texture of the sauce, everything came out really, really well looking. And finally, mm hmm. Proper thing. Mm hmm. Yep. And the Islam has a good curry in the restaurant. You know? Yeah. For real. So, I like curry, I go there. so to my sister Mona, hey, uh, for the first time, uh, me test testing this product on a live show like this, right? It is very, it, it's, it's an amazing product. Amazing product. If anyone out there would like to invest in the making and the distribution of this particular seasoning product, okay? There is an opportunity for you, all right? Just think about this. The world is getting lazier and people keep reproducing. They're going to need food that they could make fast. Mona's curry mix would feed a whole family. Like this. Think about that one. Mm-hmm. Because this was really good. Really fast and easy to make. Right? So we are one step further toward feeding our whole country with quick, simple ways to do things, right? 
Um, yes, this is going to be more like a paste. This will more than likely be a paste, right? I, but it'll be sold in jars. Um, I think it's better to sell it in jars, but uh, but we got to look at how we're going to distribute it and package it. But this is an amazing uh, spice mix here, amazing seasoning mix. It, it made it made cooking curry like like just this so easy. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really really good. Right, so to my sister Mona, Mona Sharma, right, you are an artist when it comes to your mix. I think it is amazing, right? Uh, Renee, it's not a curry powder, it's a curry mix, right? This has this has everything. Uh, it's not overseas as yet, Nas, but you can look forward to seeing it within the next couple months because we we're just testing out certain things right now. Now, uh, you'll also be able to, when you buy the cookbook, which is the One Guyana Food Festival cookbook as it comes out toward the end of the season, right? Um, when you buy it, you will find a variety of different mixes for seasonings, chutneys, and, and other things that you would just, like, they like are must-have items, right? To have in your, in your pantry. It just makes cooking, especially West Indian food, you make cooking it so easy because you'll get uh, you'll get it in the form of paste. You'll get it in the form of dry mixes. That you know you just you just get your meat. You wash your meat, chop it up, add it in, cook it up, and boom, right? Uh, Sima, this is uh, this is a product coming directly out of our network from one of our network members, uh, Mona Sharma. So it's an amazing product. Right, uh, for those of you who are on our page, the One Guy Anna Food Festival page, you would get to see a lot of recipes and a lot of meals that are made by uh, uh, Mona. And like I said, there's a host of other amazing chefs on our food page. All of us have ties to Guyana, right? That, that's what makes it so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoyable, very, very enjoyable, okay? And there's all sorts of cool ways that you could change up your curry using these bases, right? Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to really, you know, I just don't want to like eat like a beast in front of you, <laughs> right? But I'm really, really hungry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the show. I think it was a breath of fresh air, something a little bit different, right? Uh, my brother Bailey wants to tell you guys. Bye. This is my first ever curry and it's wonderful. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you learned a lot today. Right. And don't worry. We had we have Danny in the background. So. Ringside. Right. Right on. Right on. Yeah. He was ringside. Ringside here. Right. So. Yes, Tasha. I will let you know uh, when we're getting it out to the UK. Mona. There you go, girl. Mona. We thank you so much. We thank you so, so much. Right? Any product that you want to test, you send it here. We're, we're going to test it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to definitely test it out. Right? I thought it was really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Also, remember, we do have uh, the segment of the show where it is Ask Papa Snow segment, right? Which is where you can ask me any question about anything. And I'm going to give you an answer. Right, so if you guys got any question, I don't care what it's about, you got any question, at least if I can't answer it, I'm going to point you in the right direction. Okay? So, I don't care what it's about. You can ask me anything. Questions from, you know, uh, you know, criminology, questions from horticulture, questions from agriculture, questions from politics, you know, world history, Middle Ages. You can ask me all sorts of questions. Theology. Right, and I think it's very cool for me, and I think it's going to be very cool for you. So feel free to ask me questions, and understand that I will be doing the Ask Papa Snow answer segments on Thursdays. So questions that come in through the week, we'll be able to answer those on Thursday. Okay, 
So I will be able to talk to you guys later. Take care. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great and wonderful evening. God bless. Bye-bye.